good evening everyone so today i am here to talk on the topic that is police reforms in india so first of all let us know about the background of indian police system so currently the system that indian state governments are using for the indian police that had been taken from the british era the british police commission act 1861 which was reformed after the 1857 revolt now knowing about the indian police in detail then we know that the police is the subject of state list and the states have the full control over the police departments now talking about after independence the police reforms then the first of all in about 1978 when the first time the janta party or the non congress party came into power then the first national police commission was set up and it had given so many recommendations but it has not been implemented yet by any state government since 40 years it has always been talked that we need police reforms but no state government have adopted any of the provision of the national police commission which was established in 1987 1978 now talking about some major problems that our police are facing then first of all there is huge vacancy we know that in india the number of police are very less and that is why that is also one of the cause that criminals they dare to do heroic heinous crime today in india there are only 140 policemen for every 1 lakh people which is very low as compared to the any developed nation the other problem that is the weaponry system that police are using are out of date they are the very lethargic weapons the third problem is that there is no security of the life of the police and other problems are due to very less salary of the police in the especially in the lower ranks there are prevalence of corruption in the department so all these are the basic problems that our police are having in present time now let us talk about the way forward or how to improve them then the first of all the government of india they must bring a very great police reforms and more than bringing a reform the implementation is required and there should be the state and center uh, assurance that every state should ad- adopt the particular reform in the police department and it should be ensured by the central government and finally in the conclusion i would like to say that the police are the integral part of our society as they have a great role in stopping the criminal as well as providing justice to the common people of india so that's why we need a very good reform and also ensure the implementation of the same that's all thank you perfect video sir and all my dear friends the topic for today lecture it is the police reforms in india and if you link it with the recent incidents then the fake encounter in the up and also the death of father and the son in the police custody definitely somehow creates a question mark on the accountability as well as the credibility on the police now if we look towards the what could be the police reforms so according to the vora committee there is a close nexus between the politicians government individuals as well as the criminals so as you all can know that because of the criminalization of the politics more and more criminals are entering into our mainstream society or the main mainstream government ship and because of that they use the muscle power or any type of power to diverge these instead these police persons and take or make their own way because definitely the police also have some of the limitations and at last they have to follow their supreme orders so we can say that by decreasing the criminalization of the politics and bringing the new youth that have a clean future or clean background definitely can have a greater impact now the second one is the overabundance of police overabundance of people if we look towards the present india situation then there are 136 police persons on 1 lakh individuals and according to the united nations there must be 222 police individuals over 1 lakh individuals 1 lakh people so definitely we can see that because of over abundance also we can see that most of the criminals get the free hand because of that they are not able to easily get caught apart from that if we look towards the other cases then the police is not accountable for any criminal inc- incidents for example if 
द फेक केस हैज बिन मेड एंड द इंडिविजुअल हैज बिन चार्ज और इज हैज बिन जेल्ड फॉर अराउंड फोर टू फाइव ईयर्स और हैज बिन टॉर्चर्ड बाय द पुलिस वेदर ही और शी हैज नॉट हैज नॉट प्रूव हैज गिल्टी देन देर इज नो सच देर इज नो सच रेगुलेशन दैट पुलिस मस्ट ऑल्सो बी फाइंड और शुड बी चार्ज सो डेफिनेटली दिस हाउ क्रिएट दिस सम हाउ क्रिएट्स और गिव्स अ फ्री हैंड टू द पुलिस टू गेट ऑल इट्स वेट डन सो द पुलिस शुड बी मस्ट अकाउंटेबल एंड थ्रू द सीनियर ऑफिशियल्स वी कैन टेक देयर अकाउंटेबिलिटी अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट रेगुलर रिपोर्ट्स ऑफ द पुलिस एक्शन एज वेल एज द केसेज दैट आर फाइल्ड एंड वॉट केसेज आर सॉल्व वी कैन डेफिनेटली थ्रू दिस वी कैन मेक द पुलिस अकाउंटेबल Apart from that, also the resources are very much less for the Indian police. The CAG in its report has mentioned that police also lack in the weaponry as well as in the workforce. So definitely here the work should be not on the combined effort on just criminalization of the politics, but also to be empowered the police so that they can have an effective step. So definitely here the way forward could be that we should implement the Malimat Committee in which they have given the criminal reforms and how to deal with that and how to avoid these type of criminal activities. so definitely these type of activities should be promoted and there should be a middle approach between the rights of the citizens as well as the freedom given or autonomy given to the policemen so that the security as well as the rights of individuals can't be hampered thank you jai hind